All right, let's talk about formatting our output when we're running PowerShell commandlets. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to do a, I'm going to get in the right thing, and I'm going to type get VM. And this is going to show me all of my virtual machines in my system and shows me which ones are up. And yeah, you get the general idea. All right, what happens if I want to explore, let's say I want to find the path for all of my virtual hard drives. Now, we're going to go through and we're going to figure out how to do this, and then we're going to, or I'm going to show you how to do this, and then we're going to look at some ways we can format the out output. But before we do that, I want you to see when we do get VM, this gives us a nice little output. We have the name, we have the state, we have the CPU usage, memory assigned, uptime status, and version. Now, we know there are more properties than we're actually showing here. And we know that because if I pipe this to get member, I'm going to pipe that to more. Here's going to be all of the properties that we uh, have. Now, what's happening is when we run this command, get VM, PowerShell has some predefined formatting that says this is the information I think they're going to want to see most often, and this is the format I think they're going to want to see it. And so it presents us, Microsoft has decided these are the properties we'll need most, and so Microsoft presents us those properties in a nice little table format. Now I can change that format if I want things to look a little bit differently. Now, before we show some uh, other formatting with tables and lists, and one thing that I want to show you that's very, very convenient with the list is it can help us discover not just what the properties are, but what values are in those properties. So if I do get VM, pipe it to get member, the shortcut for get member, by the way, is GM type that to more. These are all of my properties, but it doesn't really tell me the data that's in them, right? If I can figure out what memory assigned means, I know it's a property. I know it's a long value. It's a long number, uh, but I don't always you know, know exactly what that indicates. Here's a great example. Status tells me it's a string for status, but I don't know what that status might be. What's the difference between status and state? So if I don't know what those things are, there's a nice little trick we can do using our format options that can show us some of this information. Now, there are three basic commands when it comes to formatting output. There's format wide, format list, and format table. And format table will get us a nice little table. Format list gives us a whole bunch of things in the list. And sometimes PowerShell is going to default to outputting format in tables. But sometimes if you have data that doesn't fit in a table or you're asking for data that, data that it doesn't know how to fit into that table, it will default to doing a list. So just if you see that happen, that's what's going on. So I'm going to get VM and I want to show you how I can see what's in all of those different properties. And this sometimes helps with discovering information about them. So I'm going to do select object. And I just want the first object. And I'm going to pipe that to format list. I'm going to go ahead and type it out instead of doing the shortcut. The uh, shortcut for format list is FL. For format table is FT. And for format wide is FW. So I'm going to say I want a format list asterisk. Now you can use the select object to select what properties you want to see. You can also do the same thing when you're formatting. So this format list asterisk, which you could probably barely see the asterisk there, basically says format a list, oh, and give me every single property. I'm going to go ahead and pipe that to more. And now it'll pull out, and it's only going to do this for one object, right? Because we said select first one. And now it's going to show us every single property. And it's going to show us right here, this is the property name, this is the property value. So we can see our status is operating normally. In this case, our status descriptions, um, our secondary operational status, you can see all of our different options here and what they have in them. And that becomes really, really helpful when we want to learn more about what's in an actual system or what's in the actual uh, properties. There we go the properties of the object. I knew it would get the right term at some point. Okay, 
let's say I want to play with my formatting a little bit more. And I, for this, I want to do a slightly different thing. I want to look at my virtual hard disks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clear the screen first, get dash VM, and I'm going to pipe this to get dash VM. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try to remember it. Hard drive, I think. Nope, that's not it. All right, get help. I want it from the module Hyper-V. I want to look at things with a verb of get. Not get help, get command. There we go. All right, so let me see if I can find what I want. I want get VM. There it is, get VM hard disk drive. Okay, cool. I found what I wanted. So, get VM hard disk drive. And this should get my hard disk drives. Okay, great. I have the name, I have the controller type, I have the controller number, I have the controller location, I have the disk number. I have the path, but I can't see the whole path. Okay, interesting. I want to change my format so that I can actually see this whole path. So here's, and I can do this using a select object. Uh, let me just hit my up arrow and I'm going to select object. I want VM name. I want controller type. And then I want the path and hit enter. And that's going to give me my VM name, my controller type, and my path. Perfect. Now, I did this with a select object, and so it's still using some of that default formatting. I can also do this with a format table. So I'm going to change this from select object to format table. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm not going to specify anything new yet. VM name, controller type and path one R in controller okay now this will give me the same information but I want you to look down here at the bottom right here we have Windows ADM and then we run out of space and we ran out of space because this column doesn't fit but now that I'm doing this in format table I have a couple of other things I can do with my format table that I can't do with select object. So I'm going to say I want to view this format table, but I want to auto size the columns. And now when it does it, it's going to auto size this VM name column to show me the entire thing. Now, and it moved over my path a little bit, but that's OK. I still have room for everything. But if I didn't and I don't want to auto size because, you know, if that crunches this part down too far. I can also, instead of auto size, I can do a wrap text. And now it's going to take this Windows Admin Center. It's going to keep my column the same length as it was up here, but it's going to wrap the text so I can read the whole thing. So that's a couple of different things we can do with our format table. In the format table, we specified what we wanted. We used auto size. We used wrap. There's another one that I find is really, really helpful. So for this one, I want to do my, actually, you know what? Let's do get VM again. And for get VM, it will show me the name of the virtual machine and the state. Now, let's say I just want to see the state. I don't want the rest of this stuff. I just want to see the VM and the state. So I'm going to do get VM. I'm going to pipe that to select object. And I want to view the name and the state. OK, perfect. Now I want to sort this so it groups all of my running objects, all of my running machines together, and all of my machines that are off together. So I want to sort object by state. And now it's going to put all of my running ones and then all of my ones that are off. And it gives me that nice little break, right? OK, something else I can do with format table. And I find this to be very useful sometimes. I want to do a format table. And before, when I did format table, I specified the things that I wanted to see. 
because I had all the properties in my pipeline. Now I only have these two properties in my type pipeline. And so I don't want to change that. You can see here that they still come through. I don't want to change that. But what I want to do is I want to separate out my ones that are running from my ones that are off. I'm going to clear the screen and hit my up arrow so you can see that. And so I'm going to do a group by state. And what that's going to do is create different groups for me. For every different break in state, it'll give me a different little group. So here's my state running, here's my state off, and then it shows me that value or those values, those objects. Okay, cool. Now, one thing I want to let you know, you really, really, really need to sort before you do a group by because group by will not store, sort for you. It needs to be sorted beforehand. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to take out this sort object state and it's going to show me all of my ones that are off. Oh, and then there was a change. Here's one that's ready. Oh, and then we changed our state again and we're back to off. And so you'll see that it does not actually sort. So anytime you do the uh, format or the group by, make sure that you format, make sure you format, make sure you sort before you run your format table and group by.